Hello students, this is Vinay sir, your mathematics teacher and you all are watching the online class of mathematics. Today we all are going to discuss a very important topic, a very interesting topic and that is how we can find the square of any number by applying a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square. But before we start, we have to understand these identities well. So a plus b whole square, the value of a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. You have to remember this identity the same way a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So we are going to apply these identities to find the square of the given numbers. Okay, so first example that I have taken here that is 43 square. So student this 43 square can be written as 40 plus 3 square or we can write it as 50 minus 7 whole square. When we are writing 40 plus 3 whole square, we have to apply a plus b whole square to find the value of 40 plus 3 whole square. If we are writing 50 minus 7, then we have to apply a minus b whole square. We are going to apply a plus b whole square here. Okay. So this 43 will be written as 40 plus 3 where this 40 will take the place of a and this 3 will take the place of b and we know that the value of a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now on the place of a we have to write 40. On the place of b we have to write 3. So first we have to write here 40 square plus 2 into 40 plus b 3 plus 3 square. When we find the square of this 40, 4 4 is 16, so it will be 1600 plus 2 4 is 8, 8 3 is 24, so we have 240 here plus 3 3 is 9. To find the value of 43 square, we have to add these 3 given number, 9 0 0, we get 9 here, 4 0, we get 4 here, 2 6. 8 and finally we get 1. So 1849 will be the square of 43. So we can write here 43 square is equal to 1849. The same way we can apply a minus b whole square to find the value of 67 square. So 67 square can be written as 70 minus 3 and we are going to find the square here. Now we know that a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. At the place of a we have to write 70. At the place of b we have to write 3. So 70 whole square minus 2 70 into 3 plus 3 square. When we find the value of 70 square, we get 7 7s are 49, so 4900 minus 2 7s are 14 and 14 3s are 42, so 420 and 3 3s are 9. Okay, we have to subtract this 420 from 4900. Okay, so 0 will be subtracted from 0 and we get 0, 2 will be subtracted from 10 and we get 8. 4 will subtract it from 9, 4 will be subtracted from 8, so we get here 8 and 4 will be written as it is plus 9. So this 9 will be added to 4880, so we get 4889, so this 4889 is the square of 67, so we can write here 4889. Let's see the next example and the next example we have 93 square. So this 93 square can be written here 90 plus 3 whole square. Okay, we can write here a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now at the place of a we have to write 90. On the place of b we have to write 3. So 90 square plus 2 90 into 3 plus 3 square. When we get the value of 90 square, 9 9s are 81, so 8100. 
Nine two is a eighteen. Eighteen three is a fifty-four. Okay, so we have five hundred forty. When we multiply nine here, okay, so these value will be added to find the square of ninety-three. So nine zero zero, we get nine four zero four zero four five one six and eight. So eight thousand six hundred forty-nine is the square of ninety-three. So we can write here eight thousand six hundred. Forty-nine. Okay. The same procedure we have to apply with the next number, and the next number is ninety-eight square. This can be written as hundred minus two whole square. Okay. First, we have to write the square of hundred minus two hundred into two plus two square. When we find the value of hundred square, we get ten thousand minus two ones are two. And two two is a four, so we get four hundred plus four. This four hundred will be subtracted from ten thousand, and we get nine thousand six hundred plus four. These two value will be added, and we get nine thousand six hundred four. So this nine thousand six hundred four is the square of ninety eight. So we can write here nine thousand six hundred four. Okay, students. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. You can apply these identities to find the square of any number. Okay. So keep practicing, keep learning, stay safe, stay at home. Thank you. Thank you so much.